21 points from Leah Subert and uh, Audubon holds off Cam. What would you think was the uh, key to get the job done if they kept it close throughout most of the night? Um, I definitely feel like our press helped. Our coach said this in the locker room that even though we might not have gotten a whole lot of steals off of that, but we kind of put them out of rhythm, and we really feel like that helped. What else did Coach Miller share as his words of wisdom afterwards? <laughs> um, he also said that this was a new kind of defense that we were running. We had never run it before in a game, and so he thought that we kind of pulled it off really well for never running it before. What was it you were trying to do defensively? Um, we were guarding like their two number one scores, uh, so Zoe Baylor, I think, and then number 44, I can't quite remember her name, but they definitely were the biggest threat, so we put two people on them and then we played a triangle in two. You got some pretty good looks early and made most of them, got off to a quick start offensively. What kind of rhythm did you have out there? Oh yeah, definitely. I have been shooting the three a little bit better than I have been towards the beginning of the season, but it definitely comes down to my teammates because Aaliyah, she's a really good player, and so it really helps to have her on the court to be able to get open looks like that, and that really helps. Is it kind of nice in some regards to step out of the conference and play some different teams you're not as familiar with at this point of the year? Oh yeah, it definitely helps, especially to play other 1A schools now that district's coming around. I think that will help better prepare us for our first round. Um, late first quarter, early second quarter, they took a lead, but you guys didn't really let them keep any type of momentum. Was there, I guess, just sort of a mentality that you had to, to hold them off there in those stretches? Um, definitely, I feel like it's been previous games that we've played because we've been in a couple of really close games and we ended up losing a lot of those games. We played Xyra not that long ago and lost by a buzzer beater. So we didn't want that to happen again. So we definitely went out there and played as hard as we could because we didn't want that kind of thing to happen again. You guys were up by about five to eight points with three, four minutes left and started to try to just put it away. What did you guys focus on to put the game, in, uh, put the game out of reach? Um, we knew that eventually they were going to have to start fouling and we just had to step up and make our free throws. So we were just trying to look for the best possible shot that we could so that way we could run through our offense and take time off the clock. You guys hadn't really played poorly lately, but you had a heartbreaker with Xyra EHK and then you lost a really good Loma team that's ranked in 2A. So how good does it feel to get back in the win column? Um, it's definitely good. It's also really good to play hard teams like that because we know coming around districts, that's what we all prepare for. That's what the regular season prepares us for, and it's definitely really good to play teams like that. What was it like early in the week against those two teams? Obviously stinging losses, but uh, you know, was it games you really wanted to have? Yeah, definitely. We go out there every game trying to win, but at the same time we know that each game that we lose, it's stuff that we can learn from and improve for our next game. All right, appreciate your time. Congrats on the win. Thank you.